The best ones are ancient, undisturbed habitats that occur literally on the far fringes of Scotland. And I've been told I can spot them by looking for steep, sloping, wind-clipped canopies that cling to the land. So I'm heading to Mull's west coast, to the edge of the Atlantic. And this is what I've headed way out west to come and see, the hazel. It normally occurs as a lower plant in forests of oaks, ash or birch, but here there are stands of pure hazel that form an antique and unique habitat. Gordon Gray Stevens is project officer for the Atlantic Hazel Action Group. How long have hazel trees been around in Scotland? Well, we think they were one of the first trees to arrive here after the last ice age. So we think they've been here for about 10,000 years now. 10,000 years, and how, yeah. how have they spread? Hazel spread via the nuts. So the nuts, which are ripe at this time of the year, are collected by squirrels and by mice, and they stash them away for winter food. And some of them, they forget about or lose on the way there. And those ones will grow up in the spring. What we have, which makes the west coast of Scotland very special for hazel, is clean air. It's neither very cold nor very hot. Uh, and it rains a lot. This is a temperate rainforest, essentially. These hazel woods are part of Scotland's temperate rainforest. I mean, there's plenty of hazel wood. It's not yeah. endangered in any way. It, no, but the very special areas that we have are... Under, under regarded, I suppose. So people don't think about them very much in the same, we know that they are a very special Scottish habitat, both in terms of Scotland, but also internationally. Hazel woods are up there with the Macca, for example, with our Scots pine woods, but they don't have the same recognition. Because of the length of time that the hazels have been around, they have acquired some special features. They are host to a wide variety of rare and unusual species. The secret is, the more you look, the more you see. Andy Acton is a lichenologist and has a big story to tell about these little herd of rarities. Once you start getting into a hazelwood, you, if you go and look at any of the stems really in a nice Atlantic hazelwood like this, you'll see that we have different growth forms on the tree. We've got these smooth bark with these map lichens. There's sort of patchwork quilt of lichens growing on the smoothest stems. And then you also have these big flappy lobes and you can see that when they're wet, there's this lovely vibrant green color. When it's wet, it's the best time to see the Atlantic woodlands. They're absolutely fantastic. And you can, you can ju see just why they're called Celtic rainforests. I mean, th these things sort of dripping off the trees. And I'm told that there's some fungus as well. Yeah, there's a really interesting one. We'll just see if we head down there now. Great, come on then. Um, and your hazel's quite a rich habitat for fungus. Well, yeah, they're, they're quite rich habitat for a range of different fungi. Some of them are common, but this one especially, this one's really rare. This is one of the specialities of the Western hazel woods. And this one's hazel gloves fungus. And when was it first discovered? First discovered 1975, I think here on Mull. And Mull is still one of the best places to find it. You can see why it gets its name, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. It, it's fascinating. So as a lichenologist, this is a, a great place for you yeah, to roam. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> I, I, could spend, I could spend hours in here. There's hundreds of species which I could find. With this and many other intriguing species lurking in these ancient woodlands, now action has been taken to raise their profile and protect them. We know that there are special species in there, um, so it's a government priority at the moment to pay more attention to hazel woods, um, which is a good thing. So we think we're very happy that the government thinks it's a, a, a priority because we love these, uh, these woodlands. They think they're, they're rather special to Scotland. When you step into these woodlands, you do get that special feeling that you're in an ancient place. And I think that's all down to the wide array of beautiful species that are within it.